What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Moan T. And it is time for Five Minute Cigar Review. Five Minute Cigar Review. You heard me. Let's go ahead and say it. All right, I know you said it out there. Even though I can't hear you, I know you said it. You went with me. Uh, today's special guest. Should I get into today's special guest? No. First, let me tell you, beautiful weather here in Denver, Colorado. All right, weather report is over. Uh, coronavirus is still going on, and many of us have been locked in or many of y'all have been locked up in your houses uh, dealing with the uh, lockdown. Luckily for me, my job is considered essential, so I'm out and about all the time. For those of you who are locked down, hey, stick with it. This too shall pass, and life will get back to normal. For those of you who happen to be suffering or know somebody who is suffering from the actual virus, my prayers out to you. So now I've got that out the way. Let's get into the five-minute cigar review, which is now down to about four minutes and, 15, and uh, three seconds. Anyway, today's special guest is the Enclave. Can you see that? The Enclave. There we go. It's a good cigar. AJ Fernandez, my man. Mwah. That's what you do. One of the premier cigar makers, in my opinion. Uh, I like most of the stuff he puts out, and the Enclave is no different, babies. This is a good cigar. I'm going to give it three and three quarter fingers. One, two, three, and a quarter over there. You see that? Try to bend that finger to get that three quarters. Three and three quarter fingers. Um, let me tell you what it's got in it. It is an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. It is a Cameroon binder, and it is a Nicaraguan filler. A nice combination of tobaccos from different regions. Gives it good mix and good flavor. As you can see, it's got a pretty good construction there. A really good construction, actually. It's nice and smooth, not overly veiny. The seams are nice. Um, a good uh, burn there, as you can see, pretty even. Good draw. Uh-oh. Been doing too much talking, not enough puffing. Let's see. Here we go. Coming back. Mmm. Thought I was going to have to relight it. There you go. Anyway, so good cigar, good flavors. Real quick, the very first time I, I uh, was going to smoke an Enclave, a lot of people smell their cigars first. I don't always do it. Sometimes I do. Not everybody does. Some some do, some don't. But, uh, you know, shove that foot right up into the nostril after you've paid for it, obviously. And you take a, dig, uh, a deep uh, inhale and sniff of it. And the very first time I did it, I thought I smelled licorice. And I thought, ugh, this is going to be bad because I hate licorice. If you go back... Uh, I don't, can't remember when I did a review on a Gurkha that had a real licorice-y taste and it was terrible. I, don't, I hate licorice. I think it's nasty. But I thought this was going to taste like that. <coughs> Excuse me. To my pleasant surprise, after lighting it and smoking it, no licorice. Um, good flavors, though. I can taste a little earthy and a little leathery, sort of a naturally kind of flavor like I've mentioned before. And then there's a spice and a sweetness that I think, I think I mentioned this in another review, and since then I've been trying to pay attention, that spicy uh, sweetness uh, mix, it's, it's kind of cinnamony. Is that a word, cinnamony? If it's not a word, I've just coined it my word, cinnamony. Um, so it's got that. Mm, sucker is going out. Where's my lighter? Sorry, y'all, drop my lighter. And now it's not working. There we go. So, again, uh, it's got that cinnamony, but there's also like a chocolate there. So I'm not exactly sure if it's cinnamon I'm tasting or not. It's, it's, it's a pretty good mix of, of the spice and the sweetness. Could be spice and chocolate, could be cinnamon, I'm not sure. But there's definitely a little bit of a leather and an earthiness there. And it's a really good blend of flavors. I really like it. Uh, that draw is nice and smooth. It's not too tight, not too easy. It makes you feel like you're, you're taking a good draw on a good cigar. Mm. Hold it on that palate. When I do that, I taste more of that leathery stuff in there, that leathery, earthy. Um, just like I said, it's a good, solid cigar. Go check it out. As I've said before in, in many videos, let me take another sip of water. I don't claim to be an aficionado. I am a cigar enthusiast. So 
all of my opinions are just those their opinions they are not based on any expertise I am giving you what I think and you need to smoke it and see what you think but these are five minute cigar reviews to hopefully hopefully give you an idea maybe you taste the same things I, I do maybe you don't but use my videos as just sort of a guide to kind of get you on the path and go from there uh, last and uh, certainly not least please 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 don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to share these videos and tell your friends and enemies and all your cigar smoking buddies to like and subscribe and uh, don't forget to leave your comments um, so that's it it's uh, 5 minutes 40 seconds it's time to go I've gone over my 5 minute cigar review time y'all stay smoky and hang in there through this coronavirus crap and we will get through this and everything will be okay everything will be everything you know what I mean he's out